If you've been listening to my podcast, The James Swanick Show, you would have heard me talk about two famous characters, Darren and Mary, who live in my We're apartment like building. Characters we are Darren point. and Mary, they live in the apartment building. I'm yeah, always referencing like Darren and Mary in my apartment building. But actually, it's James that lives in our apartment it's building. It's kind of like Melrose Place. Because if you listen to the, the episode where he talks about how he got in his apartment building, we are the catalyst. <laughs> that is true. So I wanted to introduce you to the, to the famous Darren and Mary, whose names I mention at least once a week. <laughs> <laughs> so, Darren and Mary from his apartment building that's not his apartment building. That's right. <laughs> so we'll, we'll go ladies first. Mary, what's your story? Tell us your story. I live in his apartment complex. It's like Melrose Place. What's your background? Where are you from? How long have you been living in LA? What do you do? I'm originally from Oklahoma City, raised in San Diego. I live now in LA, and I know James for five years. Nice. How did we first meet? <laughs> St. Patrick's Day party dancing. How are I we dancing? I think we just somehow congregated and started dancing before we realized Darren knew you. Show me the dance. Show me your dance moves. <laughs> Monkey dance. <laughs> I think that was alright. What was it? How was I dancing? What are the point? Here we go. We got the cameras here. We're oh, the dancing. paparazzi. James, James loves I'll, dancing. Tell, I'll tell you how you're dancing. How was I dancing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. James, do James is dancing like an alcoholic, despite not being drunk. <laughs> that is true. That was true. I was drinking like I was drunk, even though I wasn't drinking. Yeah. He had me full. Really? Like, for the longest time, had I, me full I thought as well. this like no drinking thing was a new thing. Yeah, I think you had said that after you'd met me on St. Patrick's Day, and we'd been having a cool time. Funny. He had a beer, no, but now he just acted like he had. She said your friend was hammered. <laughs> And I was like, no, he doesn't drink. Because you were like, literally, like, we didn't even know each other. We're like twirling and dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Which proves that he can have fun like, he not on drink. But I also know that he can have fun drinking as well. So I've but seen here's, both, both here's spectrums. here's the thing. I haven't drank for over a month. You haven't drunk in over a month? Yeah. Wow, that's amazing. So you, you didn't take the official 30 day no alcohol challenge. No, but you it just did. slowly phased out of my life. I don't yeah. know how it happened, but I think I like my mornings a little bit too much. So was it a conscious decision not, not to drink for a while and just turn in the 30 days or did you say I'm just going to not drink for 30 days I think it's over 30 days now at this point I just don't really enjoy it anymore there you go it's, it's weird because you have been an inspiration to us on this because we've seen your journey very closely and the way you're inspiring other people but between that listening to podcasts like Ty's yours Entrepreneur on Fire like Ty um, other podcasts like that that's all about optimal living uh, we listened to Brian Johnson we joined a gym we joined a which gym which we used to I know you joined my gym used to say that. Used to say yes <laughs> about to get on oh, yeah, Ty's we Snapchat it, we, here. We joined your gym. Yeah, and we, we started to listen to Ty Lopez. There you go. We've got bad light here. Yeah, it isn't. It's not great bad light. light. It's not bad light. We're interviewing right, Darren not, and Mary it's here. It's not good selfie light. It's not good Snapchat light. We have a talker. <laughs> Do you need one of those lights? We have a talker. Oh, because I'm, talker I'm alert. a Gemini and I'm an S. Talker alert. Talker alert. <laughs> so anyway, we, we stopped drinking so much. And it's cool because we now... And we used of James to make fun of him for joining the gym. <laughs> and now we've joined a gym. Do you want to know the funny thing? I actually, I've been sleeping in that? a little bit lately until like <laughs> maybe like seven. I haven't been going to the gym until a little bit later. And I actually got up really early about... Uh, well, not really early, but... I got up about 5.55 about a week and a half ago and it was dark, it was still dark. Yeah. And I was sitting on my on my sofa and I and, uh, and I stood up to go and stretch and I saw both of you walking to the gym at about 6.30, yes. 6.35 in the morning and I went, times have changed, times have changed. I used, <laughs> I used to be the one walking out of the gym complex at 6.30 in gym. the morning. I'll never be a hamster in a wheel. And now I'm looking at Darren and Mary, and I'm the one who's feeling like shameful because I'm not working out. I'm not in the gym. There they are going, oh, I've gone to the gym. <laughs> That's what happens when you inspire and then don't listen to your own advice. <laughs> no, I remember a Facebook post I put uh, when I started the gym saying something like, there's nothing I hate more than techno in the morning. But have right, you because that's how much I detest Have you the seen gym. this progress in this man? Has he, has he shown you the James Swanick, no alcohol, look at my body? 
for like photos? <laughs> I don't think it's any of that. There's none of that going on. <laughs> but it is harder to get up when it's dark when you wake up. It's so much harder oh, when it's dark, isn't it? And it's cold. And it's cold. <laughs> you just want to stay in there, huh? Yeah. yeah. All right, there you go. So there's. Oh, we didn't ask da Darren. What's your story? What's your background? <laughs> My story is um, from London, England. Um, I moved to LA 10 years ago, dude. 10 years, Ten years ago. 10 years. That's and crazy. It is crazy. And you and I met at the Cannes Film Festival in 2007, I yeah, think. Yeah, probably, yeah. On probably. the dance floor? <laughs> no, we were sharing a house, weren't we? Yeah, we shared a house with a few, few people there. Yeah. Well, I think it was 2007. Yeah, it probably was. And then we kind of hung out in LA. And uh, yeah, so we've known one another since 2007, so almost 10 years. Yeah. And you've been, uh, you're now uh, an actor and a producer and a director. Yeah, uh, amongst other I things. I work in film and then I run web companies. Yes. So I have a couple of uh, web companies, one called Stuck for Staff, which is a staffing company, and a new one called We Rehearse, which is an actor's video chat website. Yeah, nice one. So D Darren's certainly very entrepreneurial as well. Any advice for the, someone watching about moving overseas, living in another country? Like Mary was from Oklahoma City. She's moved to Los Angeles. I'm Australia, moved to LA. Darren, you've come from uh, from London over to Los Angeles. Any any advice on you know living in a different country around the world? My advice would be do it if you really want to, but do it for lifestyle, not just for job, because you do have to live here. A lot of people come to LA because of the career opportunities, which I think is great, especially in the film and TV thing. But I think it's important to love the place as well, so make sure you love where you live. Um, my <laughs> second thing would say when you move somewhere like new, like LA. Live in the centre, and um, for, for me that means West Hollywood, Beverly Hills here. West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, where we are now. But, but anywhere that you move, live in the centre and then say yes to everything. Then you can decide. Darren, will you, like Darren, will you go and get me a, um, a cookie from the table? <laughs> no. No, James, no. <laughs> That's when you don't follow your own advice. Because, because J James, you taught James, me to James, delegate, so James I can't be the nuts, delegated though. team. He has these raging moments where he's super healthy, and then you go out with him to an event and know how like four desserts back to back. I, I already had four. <laughs> I, I already got into that. I already got into the table. Now, Don't you worry about that. I'm sure I caught you with a pizza in less than a week ago. So no, you're not allowed to. Have <laughs> All right. Don't listen to these Here's guys. Here's another important lesson: have an accountability. <laughs> but see, that makes him human. He's just like you, trying to do the right. So there you go. There's the world famous Darren and Mary from my apartment building. When you hear me refer to them, <laughs> now you can finally put face. To the names. Darren Thank you. and Mary from the apartment building, signing off. Yes, signing go ahead and like this video and share it with a friend now. See ya! Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking right here. And make sure you put your phone up and follow me on Snapchat. You know, you put your phone up and you take the screenshot and then you automatically follow you on Snapchat. You know what I'm talking about. You can do that right there. When you do that, you're gonna be able to follow my daily life, little 10 second videos, and I'm gonna be giving you awesome little tips on how to live the good life. So go ahead, subscribe here, follow me on Snapchat there, and I'll wait for you, okay?